Yo, what's up? It's a Bark Kicks back at y'all new video, and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how I keep my uh, shoes clean and fresh. Uh, as you can see, these are pretty dirty. Uh, the other day I was in walking to my car and it was all muddy. So yeah, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I clean them. So what I use is I've been using the Sneaker Shield um, Magic Wipes. These uh, I think they work really well. And yeah, so let's just get right into it. I didn't see the dirt is coming off. It usually looks like this, and as I just scrubbed on it, it just went right away. Also, I would suggest just wiping them off with a rag after you're do almost done, like just to make sure you get any of this excess dirt off, and it should help a little bit more. Make sure that they're a little bit more clean. So, as you can see, these work really well. I um, personally, I really do like these. I've never really used any other sh sneaker cleaner at all. I really don't think I really need it because I really do take care of my shoes, but. Sometimes things like this happen where you didn't realize there was mud there and you stepped in it and Now your shoes are all dirty, but Don't fear because you can use these and they'll clean them up pretty well. The bottoms are pretty dirty, too it, 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 You can clean the bottoms, too But at the same point it's not gonna all come off due to the yellowing that happens on free runs all right, so I'm gonna finish cleaning these up and then I'll show you guys a after of these and a, a before and after. I'll show you guys this one, which is before, and then I'll show you guys the after when I'm completely done. So, I'll be back soon. So, here's a before. Well, before I use the Sneaker Shield Magic Wipes. As you can see, they're really dirty. The midsole is completely covered in dirt and mud. Um, the bottoms are extremely dirty. Um, for severe cases of like really dirty shoes, uh, you might need to use more than one uh, cloth because you want to get them completely clean. Yeah, so I would use more than one cloth if um, if your shoes are really dirty as these are. They're pretty damn dirty, so I'm gonna use two to three cloths probably for these. And then here's an after. They look really clean. I don't see much. I see a big difference compared to the other shoe. And um, the midsole looks very clean. Even though it was covered with mud, the Magic Wipes were able to uh, take it off. And then on the bottoms, they did get uh, much more clean. I, um, I didn't really worry about them that much because they're the bottom of the shoe. They're going to hit the ground, so they're going to be dirty. If you guys are... We're concerned, or you guys are questioning what shoes these are. These are the Dornbecker Free Runs. Um, um, so the kid that designed them, his name was Tim Harmon, and he was diagnosed with acute metalloid leukemia. So um, if you guys want to pause it, you guys can look at that and check it out. Um, and yeah, he's the one who designed the shoes that I just cleaned. And I love the cause, so so I love to wear them and sh everybody always asks me oh what are you wearing like what is that like why you have cheetah print in your shoe and I just always talk about like the Dornbecker hospital and tell them about what it does uh, to help these kids out so that's what that's what I I like wearing these I love wearing the Dornbecker uh, freestyle collection um, well wh whatever ones I can get and um, that's just something I love to do that's just I love to help others and uh, uh, bring awareness to others to other things that are going on uh, especially these types of diseases that these kids have that are very life threatening and then um, also guys to keep you guys' shoes uh, crease free I also use sneaker shields um, in my like Jordan 1's, Jordan 2's every, basically every model of Jordans to keep them without creases because um, I hate creases um, I don't use them in these, obviously, because they don't really crease. It, well, it's really not noticeable compared to in, like, a leather shoe. So, yeah. 
So um, these are the threes that I wear them with. And as you can see, there's little to no creasing. Um, there is a little bit, but you can't prevent everything. But it's very light, and it looks really nice still. I mean, like, these are close to dead, look close to dead stock, and I've worn these at least 15 to 20 times. So, yeah. So I, you guys can see the that they actually do work. Like, most threes crease really badly, and... These look really nice. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys liked this video. Um, let me know if you guys uh, want more videos like this or um, other things. Or put, actually, just put comments down below letting me know what kind of videos you guys want me to put out. And I'll try my best to do that. Um, I'm working. I'm going to try to do a custom this um, Christmas break. So just be looking forward to that. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back soon with a new video.